Hey there, my name is Eric, and today we are having a look at one of my Chronix chip holders. This one is called the Fluidic Connect Pro. We will be using it together with one of our standard enhanced oil recovery chips. These are the items you need for today's experiment. First is a chip. A chip holder, in this case the Fluidic Connect Pro. You will need some tubing and ferrules, a tube cutter to cut the tubing to the right length, and the set of components you might need to connect this fluidic setup to other equipment in your lab. These are all the components for the full fluidic setup. In the description you will find links to all the different components in our web store. Now let's start assembling our setup. Take the chip holder and open it. Place the chip in the holder with the arrow pointing like this. Take the tubing and the tube cutter and cut the tubing to short pieces. Do not make them too long because the longer the tubing the more pressure is lost to squeezing the fluid through. Put the tubing through the correct holes and connect them with all inlets and outlets of your chip. Do note that your specific chip could have more than one inlet and outlet. Also place the ferrules over the tubing with the pointy bit towards the holder and pull back to let the ferrules rest on the holder. Now make sure the tubing will not get stuck and close the holder. The fluidic part is now ready for use and ready to be connected to other equipment in your lab. In this example there is a simple collection container that will be connected to the outlet and the syringe pump to connect to the inlet. We now find the components needed to connect the syringe to the tubing. Do note that some of these components are only for one time use, so they cannot be reconnected. Connect the syringe to the syringe pump and now our setup is fully ready to use. Let's have a look at some of the results. 